Continuing our initiative, uh, putting Rochester first this morning, putting the spotlight on local organizations which need help. Leo Lando spoke with the Strong Museum of Play about the importance of play. Welcome back. Uh, Shane Reinwald with The Strong joining us now on this Putting Rochester First Monday. Shane, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. A lot has yeah, changed. Yeah, glad to be with you. Yeah, good to have you. A lot has changed, I'm sure, you know, with the pandemic, especially when it comes to kids being able to play at the museum. You've been open now for about a month? Yeah, so we opened at the end of June when Phase 4 began in the Finger Lakes region, and certainly it was a challenging few months prior to that. We all felt good about doing our part to... Uh, help mitigate the pandemic and bring down those numbers of immunity. But the Strong is a, a place that in order to fulfill our mission and share the joy and the greatness of play, we need to be open and have people and have families coming through and kids laughing. So while it was a challenging few months, we had a lot of lead time to put safety procedures and protocols in place. And when we opened at the end of June, we felt great about that. and. The feedback from families that have been coming in has been excellent so far as far as the confidence that they feel in what we have done. So we're taking small steps forward and I think we all probably appreciate anything that feels a little like normalcy in our everyday life, which certainly there's much more to do and we have to go further, but I think we're all feeling better that we're taking those steps forward. Yeah, play is such an important part of life. Have you had a, a big response when you opened the doors? Did a lot of people show up? Yeah, the turnout has been pretty good. We have capacity limits. We want to ensure that it's a safe and quiet environment for everybody, that there's plenty of room for social distancing. So we've intentionally been keeping some of those numbers low. We've broken the day up into different sessions so that people can come at different times. And spacing out that way has worked well so far. And during the time that we were closed, we knew that we couldn't just let our mission of play and sharing the exploration of play go. So we moved a lot of events in those first few months of the and that online. We were doing a lot of virtual programming, staying connected with our very loyal members and guests and our friends in the community. And that worked quite well. Now going forward, uh, folks watching, how can they help out? So we, we are open, we encourage folks to come on down, see what we've been doing, see what changes we've been made. And we've been giving out surveys after to get feedback from our guests. So certainly if there's something, if somebody comes and they think that we could be doing something differently or they have an idea, we are all ears for that as well. We know that this is an unprecedented time for everyone. There are still challenges going forward, but the fact that we are open and that so many other organizations like ours around town are open, I think for the arts community in general, it's it's progress and that's great. Yeah, it is great. We have so many great memories at that museum, my family, and I'm sure a lot of folks watching do as well. Thank you so much for taking time out of your morning for us. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. And to learn more about The Strong and other organizations that were uh, be, are being benefited today, head to our website, rochesterfirst.com. Well, your support is greatly appreciated as well. Information on how to donate, text ROCHESTERFIRST to 41444 or visit rochesterfirst.com.